Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. When NASA's commercial crew astronauts make their first trip to the International Space Station aboard Boeing's Starliner spacecraft, they'll be outfitted in new custom-designed spacesuits. Astronauts Eric Bow and Sonny Williams tried on the new suits, which were unveiled January 25th. In addition to meeting NASA's requirements for safety and functionality, the new design weighs less and is more comfortable than earlier versions. Also on January 25th at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, the crew members of Expedition 5253, including NASA astronaut Randy Bresnik, participated in a news conference to preview their upcoming mission aboard the International Space Station. Bresnik, Paolo Nespoli of ESA, and Sergei Rozansky of the Russian space agency Roscosmos are scheduled to work with more than 250 research investigations and technology demonstrations following their launch to the ISS in late spring. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's HTV-6 cargo ship left the space station on January 27th, a little more than six weeks after delivering more than four and a half tons of supplies, experiments, and the six new lithium-ion batteries and the adapter plates that were installed during two spacewalks earlier this month to upgrade the station's power system. NASA Television provided coverage of the January 24th funeral service at Houston's St. Martin's Episcopal Church, celebrating the life and legacy of former NASA astronaut Eugene Cernan. The Gemini and Apollo astronaut left his mark on the history of exploration by flying three times in space, twice to the moon, and is the last human to leave his footprints on the lunar surface. January 27th was the 50-year anniversary of the accidental fire that occurred inside an Apollo spacecraft on the launch pad at Cape Kennedy, tragically claiming the lives of astronauts Virgil Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee. The mission, originally designated Apollo 204, was to be the first crewed flight of the program. It later became known as Apollo 1. Investigation of the accident led to major design and safety improvements of the Apollo spacecraft for the coming journeys to the moon. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.